my surname is Radel and uh, my husband's also a winemaker and uh, both of us have been probably making wine close to 23 to 25 years, um, somewhere along those lines um, and I think in a way quite successful. Stellenbosch is um, probably besides Constantia one of the oldest areas that, that, that wine has been made in South Africa. Um, so the, I think the uniquest thing of Stellenbosch is um, probably the growth of Cabernet Sauvignon. I mean, you, you get Cabernet in a lot of different areas in South Africa, but probably from the top end best cabs, um, that is how we are marketing ourselves, is Cabernet. Um, where I am, which is on the Helderberg area, is a really, really great area for Chardonnay. You know, if we, ha we have like a top 10 choice of Chardonnays, of which half the time, between five and seven Chardonnays always come from the Helderberg. So it's a really unique terroir for, for uh, Chardonnay as well. Now, so Stratum, I mean, obviously I wanted to do something different than what I do for the other properties. So I'm, you know, for, for Cabernet, I'm, I'm really interested in, in soils that's got a lot of clay and, and also a bit of granite. Um, it gives kind of a steeliness and a minerality to it. The same with the Shannon. And Shannon, I'm looking for vineyards that's fairly old, which is something that has become quite scarce because, you know, a lot of farmers, they are taking out a lot of their vineyards because they find it's not, doesn't make financial sense. So, and obviously an older vineyard grows less. Uh, fruit. So if, you, if you're not somebody that's going to make your own wine and in, in a way get your return on investment, you start taking out the fruit, which is sad. So I'm basically trying to seek the older vineyards um, and that's probably why at the moment I'm making such small volumes because it's quite restricted of what I can get. I, I call myself artisan Stellenbosch wine, so I'm, I'm very focused on making really small volumes but really unique little spots. Um, so the Cape Winemakers Guild was started, what are we, 35 years old now, I think something like that, quite a couple of years ago um, by a, a group of young, you know, young guys and Norma Radcliffe was part of it um, from, the, from the start and um, it was initially kind of a, like a tasting group which grew to where we are now. So now we are seen as the leading winemakers in South Africa and you are invited to become a member, you, you know, then there's a voting process and and, and your being invited is basically based on your achievements that you've achieved in your winemaking career. The biggest asset of the Cape Winemakers Guild is, is having the protégé program and being able to give an opportunity for, for black students, white students, ladies that finds it maybe harder or that parents financially just cannot afford it. You know, you can't convince everybody to like the wine that you make, but you can definitely try and make the best that you can with what the fruit that you get.